Nico's Rentas here, mentorsapproach.com. Today's email, all about motivation and where does it go when things get rough, when things get tough? Where does it go? We don't know. But one thing we do know is we got choices when we lose that motivation and ones to get it back and ones to drop the project, move on with the next project. So uh, I have an email here from somebody who... Uh, he's lost his motivation. He invested a whole bunch of money and now that project is in the air and we don't know what to do with it. And he wants my opinion on what to do in the situation. I thought it'd be a great email for everybody. So here we go. Hi, Nico. So I recently started a new venture and to be honest, I'm regretting it. I can't find the motivation that I once had. It hadn't taken off yet and I'm struggling through getting to that end point. I invested tons of money into it, but as I continued to work towards my goals and the venture, it kind of pushed me off. Too many obstacles. What would you do in this situation? So here is my take on what you've written. And um, it, it kind of seems like when you say, yeah, I invested too much, tons of money. Yeah. Okay. What did you actually invest? What is tons of money for you? And, and you know, what's the level of risk that did you, that you actually took? And that's what we really want to look at. How much risk did you have to sacri- to, to put into it and then sacrifice in order to get this project going? Um, and then you got to look at it from why are you giving up? Because there's a lot of obstacles. Is it going to cause more risk is it more money is it more time or were you just expecting a big payout that's these are questions all these questions what i would ask in a sit down with you over an hour to figure out what what is it that really is affecting what you're doing so when we start a project and like i'm I'm working on a project right now i've been working on for quite some time and it is uh it's going to change how uh, charities raise money and what we're doing is is, is big it's international and we you know before starting this project if you would have told me that one of our barriers would have been shipping worldwide i would have been like what you know but then i compare it and you know all, all the consulting work i've been doing uh you know and especially with companies that do shipping they've been around for a while and then the other ones the new startups and stuff like that during the states and shipping in the states really cheap uh so you know that was like a, that, that was like one of the obstacles we had to face and we faced it took a little bit longer than we thought and we had to restructure how our business approach was however we came back to our original idea of how we want to raise money for charities and how charities will grow how companies can help charities grow how artists and if you're an artist by the way and you're watching this uh just you know one thing to do is uh uh, once once I launch it, click on because we're gonna have a cooperative there for artists, so they can get a uh, hit back for their designs with what we're doing with the charities, and we will be you know providing royalty fees everywhere. And uh, again, it's for charities to raise money. And that goal, when I look at it, I've invested a lot of money. I could say tons of money too, but I've invested a lot of money. I've put significant risk into it. Uh, but at the end of the day, I know that I'm doing it for a certain cause. And it's not money. It's not for me to make money. It is for, at the end of the year, I want to say I helped raise $100,000 for these charities. You know, in the end of five years, I want to say I raised a million dollars or five million or 10 million. You know, and, and this is my goal but if i don't hit that goal i've done what i i set out to do and that's to raise money and and to help charities so yeah i still have everything else that i'm doing and the risk tolerance on this is it's large because i've invested money into it in time uh when i could have been doing something else but it's not a risk where it's gonna you know take me under and i'm gonna be suffering now if you've invested a lot of money to this project and you've taken out a mortgage and you're say you're i don't know how old you are but say you're like 55 60 and you're gonna have to work 10 years to pay it off that's a significant risk so based on all these things you would make a decision and this is more about how do you make a decision on this well when i'm looking at it and i look at a project that's failed i look at the opportunity behind why and how uh like why the project failed and how i can get it to 
make money for me at the place it's at. So if the project is about 20, 30% into it and it's a great idea and I know I can flip it somehow, I would start looking, actively looking for people that would want to take on the project. And then I would flip it to them. I would lose less money out of the project or hey, maybe there's an opportunity to make more money if I do X amount more. Or if you're at 90% down the road and you need 10% and you just can't do it or you can't figure out something or one of the obstacles is just too large and you want to say, you know, I can't do this anymore. Well, there's always somebody to flip that project to. The other option is to put it on pause because maybe something else is happening in your life right now that's causing this motivational downturn. And I mean, if you look at the videos and you look at my posts, you'll see a lot of the things that happen. And I talk to people all the time and they're like, well, my husband or my wife, well, they don't want me doing it anymore because I'm like, I'm not there. And then within an hour with me i have given them so many ideas that they're like oh wow okay and they're back on the on the motivational uh front line going i'm gonna do this fuck what anybody else says and you might be there i don't know so the the question is where are you at in the project you gotta analyze that and you gotta say where's my opportunity if i do go forward with it or if i complete it where will i make most amount of money to flip it and who knows by the time you get to that stage then you can say well you know what i want to keep it because i started making money and just because you haven't made money yet doesn't mean you're not going to make money for me in my mindset has always been that whenever i do something if I'm doing it wrong at the beginning, I will find a way to find a better way to do it and I keep working on it. But there's always a, a fine line uh, or a, a, like a line that you don't cross because you got to look at where you are in life. You got to look at what what like money is going to be going out of your pocket, what money issues may arise from it, how your relationships are affected by it. You know, I met somebody who had a restaurant and he just wouldn't let it go. He, he sacrificed everything, including his wife to get this restaurant going and at the end of the day like you know was that worth it um you know to me personally it wouldn't be worth it to him it was it was still per like it was still worth it and then you know he, we met on a weekly basis and we fixed up his restaurant to do some of the right people and his restaurant started making money and it was all worth it you know it was all worth it um that says a lot about that person, and this is a lot about any person who's committed to something like that was your passion, it was a true love, and they're like, I'm willing to sacrifice anything for it, even if my wife leaves, even if my husband leaves, even if anything, you know, because that this is what makes me happy. And if the person truly loved me, this is their mindset usually. And if the person loved me, they would have stuck by my side, and they 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 would have known I'm gonna do it. But now I can go find somebody who will trust me and who will love me. And that's the mindset they have. So, you know, it says a lot about people's character based on what they're deciding to do on the factors they decide to do things. So if you're looking at your project right now and you're asking yourself, what do I do? I think this video will explain a lot of different ideas that you can start looking at and where you're at. And you, it can really help you start summarizing different opportunities that could be there for your project. Uh, to get more details, uh, if we sit down for a coach call, I can definitely lay out more details on what your project is uh, capable of and where you're at and what opportunities exist and how to approach it, who to meet and where to go forward. Uh, this is uh, one of the things that you got to do on your own uh, and, and then look at it from if you need help, reach out. Uh, again, to get in touch with me, mentorsapproach.com. Just click on the button and book an appointment. If you got any emails, please log on and send me an email for a, a quick video and I'll answer your question on the video and also give you a reply. And again, uh, please subscribe to the channel. If this video was useful and you learned something, please share it with somebody who could find of use with it. This is Nicholas Rentis, mentorsapproach.com. Thank you.